Hey everyone, so last year right before school started back I did a what to carry in your back to school purse and a lot of people really liked that video and I decided that I wanted to do it again this year and give you a few more tips that I didn't get to give you last year and just kind of show you what I think you should carry in a back to school purse because for me I never really liked carrying a book bag. I like to carry a tote bag and put my books in that, but then I would also carry a purse. And some people just like to throw everything from their purse into their book bag, but I don't like to do that. I like to have a tote bag and a purse. So I wanted to show you which purse I would be using if I was going back to school this year. You guys know that I'm homeschooled, but I have gone to public and private school for 10 years of my life. So I think I know a little bit about what I would do if I was going back to school. And this is my new favorite fall purse. So what it is, is this bag right here. And it's actually huge. It kind of could be your tote bag if you wanted it to be. Uh, but I like that it holds a whole lot of stuff. So what it is, it looks like this. And it has a peace sign on the front with lots and lots of different colors. And I got this from the sack.com and I'll put a link in the bottom bar. Uh, but actually I went on earlier today before I was filming because I wanted to be able to tell you guys how much it is. And it's 50% off right now, it's $34. They're on sale so if you wanna get it you might wanna hurry up just because they don't have a lot left. Um, but yeah, so I got this bag and this is actually what I've been carrying to the airport a lot because you guys know I've been traveling and it holds everything so anything you need throughout the day during school this bag is going to hold and I like that it has every single color in it this is the back it has a little pocket here I like that it has every single color because it's going to go with anything you're wearing so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I would carry in my back to school bag because when I go buy a new purse a lot of times I'm like what can I fill this purse up with and very quickly it fills up with a whole lot of stuff so I'm going to show you what I think the necessities you need for a back to school bag is. The first thing is your cell phone. Lots of schools you are not allowed to carry your cell phone around or have it on. Um, ours you are allowed to have it with you as long as it was off. I know some schools like you can text during class that's completely outrageous to me because my school you weren't allowed to even though everyone kind of did. Shh. Um, yeah so carry your cell phone but of course mine would have to be on off and I put that in this little pocket right here and then in the pocket next to it I keep my iPod with the headphones. So I don't like the headphones that come with iPods. They hurt my ears. So I bought these. They were like, I think $10 uh, like that. And they are just a little bit more comfy. So I like to use these. Um, and also we would work on computers a lot at my high school. And I didn't like the earphones that they would have you use. You don't know who else has used those earphones and they just weren't as comfortable. So I would keep these earphones with me. In some classes, like in my French class, we were allowed to listen to our iPod, which I thought was so cool. Where should I begin? Okay, I guess the first thing I'll show you guys is my book. Now, if I have a book for school or something, I'm gonna keep it in my tote bag. This is what I like to call my pleasure book, my book that I read in between classes, in between when there's something that we have to be doing. This is the book I would read um, unless I had a book due like To Kill a Mockingbird that I had to read or something like that for class. But this is a book that's like not a textbook, it's a fun little pleasure read that I would read during the day. So I would keep that with me at all times. And then the next thing is an agenda. And Glitzy Glam actually just got in these new Lily Pulitzer agendas. And most of you know Glitzy Glam is mine and my sister's online web store. And we just got these new ones in and I am so excited because, okay, you guys, you know how with agendas they normally go January to December, right? So when you start up a new school year, it's not that easy to find an agenda where you have kind of wasted the first half of the year. These go all the way from August through December of the next year. So you have August 2010 through December 2011, which is really, really exciting. So this is what it looks like. It is turquoise and lime green and baby pink and hot pink and it's really cute. And I also have the matching Lily Pulitzer pin next to it, just because I think that's cool. Um, yeah, so this starts all the way from August of 2010 and goes through December 2011, which is exciting because that way you can not feel like you're wasting the agenda when you buy it and you don't need it until the September month. So I like that. And oh, I'll show you guys the inside of this just because I love agendas. You cannot get through a school year without having something to write down your homework assignments and when this is due and when that's due. So what this comes with is 2010, 2011 at a glance, which means it's like this. It just shows you kind of the days and what day, you know, March 1st is gonna fall on. 
And then you have this type of thing where you have a little block for each day of the month and then you have your actual months like this where you have lines to write each day and there's also dates to celebrate, holidays and phone books, notes, and yeah, and then there are cute little um, sayings for each month. Like, restless reptiles get rowdy ringing in the new year for December, January, which this is for January. Okay, but enough about this agenda because that's like five minutes talking about this agenda. Okay, the next thing you need are pencils. These are Lily Pulitzer pencils from Glitzy Glam as well just because I think they are the cutest little pencils in the whole wide world. And most of the time I would have a pencil pouch to carry these in, but these come in this little sliding thing and I think that it's just cool just to carry them in this. So I think that's kind of a preppy way to carry around your pencils, kind of slide them out. And if you're anything like me, you're going to lose your pencils all the time. I could probably buy a 24 pack and be have all of them be lost in 12 days. So that's why I like having this like this. You can kind of see when you're missing one and be like, oh, where'd that pencil go? Um, all right. Next thing you need is for all of the girls out there. And this is a tampon holder. So it holds two tampons in it. And that way, if you've got, you know, lots of guys in your class and your tampons fall out of your purse, you're not that embarrassed because they don't know what this is. I mean, this really could be anything. So this is the hot pink zebra one because I think that's like the cutest one. Um, okay. And then I have reading glasses. If you need to have reading glasses, take them with you to school. I have them in this cute little Vera Bradley pouch. Okay, my Rubik's Cube. You guys, you know I love my Rubik's Cube. I would solve this in between classes and a lot of times for gym class we would have to sit there for the first 10 minutes while they were like taking roll and the teachers were just talking. So you could really do anything you wanted and I would sit there and solve the Rubik's Cube. And I've done a video before where I've talked about um, or I've showed you guys and I think I did it in a minute and 47 seconds, uh, but my fastest time is 42 seconds. I've only done it once. I don't think the Rubik's Cube was mixed up that well because I've never been able to do it again. But I would carry a Rubik's Cube with you just to help pass the time. Okay, next thing is my wallet. This is a little flat, tiny little wallet thing, and I keep my ID, a card, my Sephora Beauty Insider card, because you cannot not have a Sephora Beauty Insider card. And then in here I would keep lunch money. Now the thing about these, these little wallets um, are also from Glitzy Glam, ironically. I feel like I fill my purse up with Glitzy Glam stuff because I just love all of our stuff. But I would keep lunch money in here. And the thing about this is you can't lay the bills out flat. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys, um, if you get one of these little wallet things, bills don't lay flat. You can if you put them in this back section, but I like to put mine in the zipper com uh, compartment and you've got to fold them. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, yeah, so that I have that in there. So you need to remember lunch money. How expensive are your lunches at your school? Because here where I live, I live in the South and they're like $2.75 around that. Um, and I always think it's weird when people are like, school lunches are like $5 at my school. And I'm like, what? Uh, okay, the next thing you need are, well, you don't have to have these. These are kind of a luxury that I really enjoyed. They are the Colgate Wisps. And this is a fairly new pack. I've only used one out of this pack, but they open up and they are the little baby toothbrushes that have a little pick on the end in case you have food in your teeth. And they have a little ball of toothpaste that you don't even need water for. You don't have to spit it out or anything. So you literally can do it very, very quickly. And it's just going to give you clean, fresh breath. And make sure you don't have any food in your teeth after you eat lunch at school. Because that would be embarrassing. The next thing I have is a camera. Because at my school, all the time, people would, you know, take pictures at lunch and stuff like that. They said we weren't allowed to have cameras there. But everyone brought their cameras. So I would always have a camera just to kind of document, you know, what was going on in my life and what I was doing at school and, you know, friends and then upload it to my friends would upload it to Facebook. I don't ever really get on Facebook, but my friends did and they liked it. Next, you need a calculator. This is one of like the actual like Texas instrument, real heavy duty calculators. silver edition. It's sparkly. And on the back, I wrote, I love SOS because back in seventh grade, that's what you wrote. SOS meant someone special. And you would write it on your notebooks and your calculators and your hand and your folders. So I have I love SOS written all over my cluckalator, which is also what we called it. So one of the most important rites of passage in my town is going into high school, you are allowed to chew gum in class. In elementary and middle school, you aren't allowed to, but in high school, you're allowed to chew gum. So I would always have multiple packs of gum with me, and I kept that 
in a little separate pocket. And you also have to have different kinds of gum because I promise you every single day there's going to be someone that's going to ask you, hey, can I have a piece of gum? And I have to admit, I was that person a lot. I would always ask people for gum because I would always forget my own. But um, when I did have my own, People would always ask me and I could never say no because I was always bumming off of them too. Okay, so now the last thing is makeup essentials. And you guys know beauty products, things like that is my thing. So I love carrying this stuff around. And the first thing is I would carry a travel brush kit with me and this is actually from BH Cosmetics. I just recently got it so I obviously didn't carry this one around with me but there are lots of different travel brush kits you can carry around with you and this is especially if you have gym class and you're touching up your makeup after gym. If I didn't have gym one semester and I was just going through I wouldn't need to carry brushes with me so it's really whether you need brushes with you or not and then I have a makeup pouch and this is from the stack as well. It says peace nature, uh, love, and it's just this really cute, um, I think it's called the Artistic Circle Wristlet, but I'm going to link it in the bottom bar. It was $10, and I think it's cool because you don't have to carry it inside of your bag. You can carry just it, but this is the makeup that I would carry with me just to take to school to touch up after gym or after lunch if you have a couple of minutes just to kind of freshen up. A lip gloss. I really like these Beauty Rush lip glosses from Victoria's Secret. They're squeezy. I always run out of these. Like, I literally use the entire thing. And I don't use a lot of lip glosses up because I have so many to choose from. It's hard for me to use one up. I always use these up because I love them. And this is in the I Want Candy flavor, and I love it. Next thing I would take is a eyeliner. I take black because that's pretty much what I wear every day. Um, yeah, so I have this eyeliner. And then I would take, okay, so this is my chapstick, and I love having smooth lips. I don't like flaky, dry lips, so I, I apply chapstick a lot during the day. And this is my Nivea A Kiss of Moisture, because Michael Buckley from the What the Buck Show did a little imitation of me, and he was talking about this product, and he put it in such a good light. I had to go buy it, and I really do like it. Um, so that's why I have this lip uh, chapstick. And then I would carry with me blotting papers in case you get oily throughout the day or after you sweat or anything like that. Blotting papers, powder to apply after your blotting papers, blush. Blush is something that if you apply it, it's going to completely change your face. And I just dropped my mascara on the floor. It's going to completely change your face and everything like that. Um, so that's a little something you can add that's going to go a long way. And then your mascara. Uh, this is Lancome Hypnostrama, and I really like it. It's what I've been using lately, and my lashes have been looking pretty long, so I really like this, and I would take this. So that is what I would carry in my school purse, obviously, then in my either book bag or tote bag. I would have, you know, my binders and my notebooks and things like that, and I've been thinking about doing a video talking about, you know, how I would organize my classes. You know, I do have a lot of organization tips. So if you guys want me to do that video, leave it in the comments and I will do it if you want to see it. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.